Hi, welcome to Schulte Sweetie's YouTube channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a mom of three girls, ages 11, 8, and 5. Um, we are finishing up our sixth year of homeschooling and we will be starting our seventh year next year. Um, so today is just a reflection of the year. I will also um, have links to like my reviews of the different grade levels and our family subjects for this year. Um, but this is just kind of like an overview, a general um, reflection time. And this is also in collaboration hosted by Devine at Calm in the Chaos and Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool. And there is a link down below of other mom sharing their reflections for the year. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go through like good, um, there really wasn't like a ton of bad, like we did have some homeschool like curriculum switches. So that was kind of a little bit tricky, um, but it turned out pretty good. The way like we've made some switches, which I will talk about in the um, certain grade levels, I will talk about how we've switched things a lot, um, but they were for the better. So um, that turned out pretty good. Uh, we were able to do some extra field trips. We've gone, um, we were able to go to like a children's museum, the zoo a couple times with some friends. Uh, we have a, uh, we have a group of friends here that are homeschooled and we just love them. <laughs> we um, do book club a few uh, times a year. We don't do it too often, partly because we take a long time reading our read alouds, um, but we like get together and do an activity with each other. Um, we celebrate holidays together and we go to the park and stuff a lot of times. So um, we just really love our group. We don't meet on like a consistent like weekly basis or even every other week. But um, if someone's going to the park, we'll like put it out on Facebook in our group. And it's just so much fun. And we um, have just all really enjoyed their friendships this year. Um, we have tried to do some things at our library, but didn't have the greatest experience <laughs> with um, one of the activities. Like I brought my youngest and she was technically too young and I kind of heard about it. <laughs> um, but like in the summertime, they usually have some like bigger group activities. And so like, we'll probably do some of those. Um, our, the girls, my older two, have been doing piano and really loving it and doing really well with it. And another thing that I just think I couldn't believe it turned out as good as it, it did um, was I just had this random idea to have my girls research a certain person in history. They all chose women. My girls are all girls. And so they all chose women. And it was such a fun thing. Like my so my youngest chose Queen Elizabeth and my middle chose Amelia Earhart and then my oldest chose Anne, Diary, or Anne Frank. Um, and it was just fun because so what they did was they researched, I got books here and there and we watched some videos and then, um, then to their level, they did a poster board. It was such a cute thing. And then they also like tried to dress up like um that person um and then kind of gave like some details to my mom and my husband and I and it was such a cute thing um we printed off pictures and made copies and things and like to their abilities it was really cute so like my youngest really didn't do too much she she learned like about Queen Elizabeth's family and how long she's been in um she reigned and um not too much. So she learned about that and she did her poster board, more pictures than anything. Then my middle did a little more research. She had like a lot of like facts and was, um, didn't have quite as many pictures and just, you know, she learned a little more. Then my oldest, she actually read the diary of Anne Frank and she was really looking into more books and she wrote almost like paragraphs and put them on her poster board and then a few pictures as well. And then also at the children's museum that we went to um, earlier in the school year, um, they had a whole section of Anne Frank. And so she was really gravitating towards that and learning a lot in that too. So I 
could not believe that that went off without a hitch. And so um, I have some plans for next year that um, we will probably do another person in history and maybe, I don't know, like a place or I don't know, a scientific invention. I haven't quite decided, but I'm excited that um, that worked out, out really well. Um, so I would encourage you to try it out with your kids. Kind of like, you know, some kids in like schools do like a wax museum. So that was pretty much the idea of what we did. Um, so those are like things that really worked well. Um, I mentioned in another video, like our miss was just like maybe over scheduling a little bit with like our piano lessons changed. And so like that kind of messed up our flow of our week and then like sometimes errands and different things can take away but um we're just going to try harder to have a better flow next year and um not make and make the most of our Tuesdays especially since they're a little bit off like we don't usually do our curriculum on Tuesdays or maybe I'll have them do a little bit of curriculum I haven't decided so um that is pretty much like our reflections like we are just kind of trekking along and um I'm just excited for our seventh year of homeschooling it's kind of crazy that that's how far we've gone um and just to see how my daughters all progress so I hope that you enjoyed this video today make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check out Davine at um Common the Chaos Homeschool and Shauna at Homegrown Homeschool as well as the playlist down below have a great day